Welcome back everybody. In this video, we're gonna be checking out my brand new Goyojo Thermal Scope. This is the GRL335 Thermal uh, Imaging Device. So this is a scope that I'm gonna be putting on my uh, Savage 6.5 Creedmoor, and I'm super excited about testing this out this coming fall on Predators, Fox, Coyote, things like that. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and do an in-depth review of this right now online you can uh, get it for $1,999 and I th they might be doing a deal on them right now I'm going to put a link in the description feel free to check it out for yourself but let's go ahead and uh, go over everything that comes in the box and what what this is all about so first and foremost right on the box it says it shoots in 384 by 288 resolution it's got a 15 to 1800 meter detection range which equates to 1968 yards it's got a 1024 by 768 OLED display it's got a six to eight hour battery life it's got image enhancement and uh, Wi-Fi applications you can connect to the app and right here on the box you can scan these IR codes and download the app so let's go ahead and open the box up and the box is kind of unique it's got a magnet on it it flips up like that and open and right in the top you've got your quick start guide right here and then you've got your user's manual and then right here in this comes in a, a carrying case with a zipper on it it's kind of a, a hard shell so it's protective we'll unzip this and open this up and right here is the actual thermal device first thing I notice about it is it feels uh, really kind of heavy duty uh, not not made out of like light cheap material and it's got a foam insert where it fits in there perfect and then right here you've got the other accessories so you've got an extra eyepiece that fits on the back if you want it lengthened there's a short one on there right now then you've got your battery charger you've got an extra battery there's your USB plug-in port. Here is another rail attachment. There's a Phillips head screwdriver and lens cleaning cloth. So that's everything that comes in the box. So I just laid out everything that came in the box. Your thermal, user's manual, startup guide, USB plug-in for your charger right here. A Phillips head screwdriver, extra rail accessory, lens cloth, battery, eyepiece, and carrying case. So as we get this uh, 6.5 sighted in with a new Goyojo GRL335 thermal scope, I'm gonna tell you the specs on this scope. It's really a pretty incredible scope so far after uh, playing with it for a while. It's got a, it's got a 35 millimeter lens diameter in the front. It's got a professional grade sensor designed for precision and clarity up to 1,968 yards. It's got a straightforward button design that makes it extremely easy to operate, even for somebody that's not used to working with uh, electronic thermal scopes. It has RAV technology, which is recoil activated video. So as soon as the gun senses the recoil of you shooting the round, it'll start recording. And it's got a 64 gigabyte uh, storage in it right now with the SD card. This unit is Wi-Fi and app compatible so you can download the app and access all the settings right through the app and even download pictures or videos that you've taken off of the thermal right onto your phone. One of the most handy things about this scope is it has what they call one shot zero technology. So what that means is you literally shoot the target one time and you can adjust your scope accordingly. You can move the crosshairs over to where the round impacted press save and you should have your scope zeroed in one shot. This scope also has picture in picture mode allowing the shooter to independently adjust the zoom level uh, for improved shooting accuracy and you can still get the overall field of view from the picture within the zoomed in picture that you have looking through the viewer of the scope. 
It's got 10, 24 by 768 full color OLED, which provides sharp details and vivid color and exceptional clarity. Uh, it's hard to tell through the camera looking at it, but it's really clear looking through here. Everything is extremely vivid and uh, very sharp, so to speak. Easy to uh, pick out different things looking through the scope in the pitch black. It's got a six to eight hour battery life and it's got a replaceable battery as well. If uh, you wanted to use the replaceable battery while you're charging the other battery, you have five image modes and you can pick whichever one you prefer. Personally, I like the white hot mode, but you have red hot, iron red, green hot, fusion, and ice fire. Those are your six modes. The entire unit with the battery in only weighs a thousand grams, which is about 2.2 pounds. It's got two different types of zoom. It's got a digital zoom from one to four times and then an optical zoom uh, three to four times. It's got a 4.5 degree field of view looking out the uh, lens. It's got a focus range of three meters to affinity and it's got a 50 millimeter eye relief uh, in the front. This device also records audio along with the video. A lot of thermals out there will only record the video with no audio. This does include audio as well. You've got five reticle options that you can pick through. I really like the circle with a dot in the middle of it, so that's the one that I'm gonna go with. Uh, and you have five color options with the reticle as well. I'm just gonna keep mine uh, black. It obviously comes with a Picatinny rail mount, which is a quick detach, which is really cool. You can tighten it up as much as you want. I tighten mine way up and you can uh, really clamp it on there it's secure not going to move at all and it's super easy to take on and off just by on clicking the click and off it comes it's 6.30 inches long and 3.15 inches wide so it's really doesn't take up that much space that much space and it's made out of uh, magnesium alloy so it's very durable aluminum and it comes with a five-year warranty so overall, I've been super happy. I'm gonna continue shooting it, and uh, we're gonna see maybe if we can find a woodchuck or some critter with it so you guys can see it in live action. Well, we're out here, and we're gonna go ahead and get the Goyojo thermal sighted in, and we should be able to do it in two shots here. So we're gonna go ahead and let this first one rip. And see where this one hits, and then adjust accordingly. All right, so now we'll see where that round hit and then we'll adjust the thermal and hopefully have it sighted in in two shots. So I was able to see where my round hit. It hit about a foot and a half high and a little bit to the right. So now I can take my adjustment. I can keep my crosshairs on the center and move the secondary crosshairs up to where the round impacted and then reset my reticle. And then that means I should be sighted in uh, with this shot right here. So we'll try it and see how it worked. Well, I made the adjustment, so let's go ahead and let one rip here and see if we're close to the bullseye on this shot. I'm zeroing this uh, rifle and thermal set up at 100 yards, by the way. So this shot should be pretty close, I would imagine. Okay, so what happened was my sight never reset. That was my first shot, and my second one should have been down there, but you know what what had happened was I never actually reset the reticle. So I think I've got to look at the look at the manual and see if I can figure out how to make sure it resets properly. Okay, so as you guys can see. All I had to do was hold uh, the adjustment button down for three seconds and then it locked in the adjustments that I had. So it took me three shots to have it zeroed. I'm a little bit low at 100 yards. I might do one click up and call it good. And we're gonna be in business. 
let's shoot it one more time to confirm zero and then we'll uh, be in business here. Might be able to find a woodchuck this evening. Well, there's my last shot. So we have it perfectly dialed in and th really three shots. The took me four, but it was because I didn't have it properly set the way it should have been. So we've got it right on the money and that thing is gonna be ready to roll this predator season. I'm gonna show you some thermal uh, imaging at some deer tonight through it and see how that looks. Well, I wanted to test this out out of the shooting window and we got a target set up down there at about 200 yards. So we're gonna go ahead and test it out at 200 and see how close that round hits the bullseye. I'm gonna hold right on. The 6.5 is a really flat shooting round, so it should be pretty darn close. I wanted to show you guys what it looks like through the actual viewing screen. So this is videotaping through the viewing screen. It's pitch black out. There's my reticle style. And if you want to go through the different modes, you just click click on the modes and you can toggle through all of them right there on the left of your screen. That right there is your different uh, reticle options. We'll go ahead and click on that and show you. That's your we'll go up one. That's the different colors. I have mine on red as you guys can see. I'll exit. Different settings. exit it shows uh, your timestamp which isn't correct your battery level uh, your SD card and your color that's white hot let's go through the different uh, so that's zoom and way in that's iron red green hot fusion Ice fire, red hot, white hot. So this thing has been really cool so far. I've been really happy with it. I'll go ahead and uh, wrap this video up and kind of give you my final thoughts and what I think of it uh, after I shoot a few woodchucks with it. Well, we're going to do some woodchuck hunting with my new thermal scope on my uh, Savage 6.5 Creedmoor. We're going to sneak up over the bank. Carl just got these fields mowed the other day and all the hay is off of it. So we're going to see if there's any woodchucks that want to play a game called Get Shot. Well, I just snuck up here and there's a woodchuck out right in the middle of the field. So I grabbed the rifle, I sat down here and we're gonna sneak out. It's right out around the corner of the blind out here, so I think we're in business. We're gonna try to take him out. Woodchuck just came out. We are gonna let that bugger have it. There's another one that just came out. Right there. Let's change the mode. Oh, man, 
That didn't sound healthy for that bugger. Fresh reload, straight into a chuck. Oh, there's some turkeys. It's actually kind of cool woodchuck hunting with a thermal. This is a, these are the first woodchucks I've ever shot with a thermal, and uh, it's actually pretty cool. They really stick out as compared to just looking at them through a normal scope. That heat signature is really defined in the hay field like this. So, and it's cool for scanning the edge if there's a woodchuck head popping out that you wouldn't otherwise be able to see. That thermal picks it right up. So, there's some. Uh, pretty big advantages to, to shooting them with a thermal. I've never done it before, but I might be on to something here. I'm really happy with this thermal so far. Uh, it's pretty darn cool.